Welcome, this is British National Party Television coming to you from Whitewall Place in Blackburn, Lancashire. Now a couple of weeks ago, a very serious crime was committed here. A person wearing a burqa drove a car directly into a five-year-old child, causing this young boy to sustain serious injuries, including a broken leg. However, the driver of the car failed to stop after the collision. Neither did they inform the emergency services of the injuries that they had inflicted upon the child, which in this country constitutes a serious crime. Now we're here today because we believe that this incident highlights what many people believe is a gross dereliction of duty on the part of the authorities in allowing people to drive whilst wearing the burqa. Firstly, People complain that allowing people to drive whilst wearing the burqa encourages people to commit crimes. And the driver of this vehicle would no doubt be aware that it would be impossible, even if they were caught on CCTV cameras, for them to be identified as committing this crime. They would also be aware that should the registration number of their vehicle have been um, caught on camera or elsewhere and supplied to the authorities, by the time the authorities caught up with the owner of the vehicle, that owner could quite easily fob them off with some excuse like they'd uh, lent the car to somebody visiting from Pakistan or something like that. But it's not just hit and run offences that people can commit with impunity because they are uh, wearing the burqa. I'm sure our viewers can think of a whole range of motoring offences uh, where prosecution can be evaded because the, the driver is wearing a burqa. But perhaps the encouragement to commit crimes is the lesser of two evils caused by allowing people to drive whilst wearing a burqa. Allowing people to drive whilst wearing a burqa constitutes a real danger to all road users. Now there are two, two types of burqa. There's a long flowing sort, and this sort often comes with a, a mesh over the eye slot. Now this burqa obviously restricts peripheral vision, which means that the driver cannot see, often until it's too late, uh, cyclists coming up on the inside, cars, entering the street from side streets or, or driveways, pedestrians setting off to cross the street until it is too late and a collision is unavoidable. Now, you, there are those who say, well, that's obviously true of the fl flowing burqa, but the one that is strapped quite tightly to the uh, wearer's head doesn't raise the same problems. Well, we spoke to a motoring expert and he told us that this burqa can cause every bit as much a problem as the flowing sort. And this is because the garment is trapped between the driver and the driver's seat. So there is a tendency when the driver looks from left to right to see what's coming or check their mirrors, that the head swivels with inside the burqa and thus peripheral vision is compromised every bit as much as it is with the flowing sort of burqa. And it, this expert has told us that this sort of collision is becoming all too common across the whole country and it is down to people wearing the burqa and it is every bit as dangerous as allowing people to drive who have impaired or partial sight as it is to allow them to drive whilst wearing the burqa. Now this problem immediately leads to the question why if it's such a, an obvious danger do the authorities allow people to drive whilst wearing this garment? Now I'm sure there are many answers to that question out there, but I'd like to leave you with just one. I was talking to a retired school teacher earlier in the week and I was explaining about this video that we intend doing and uh, I ended up by asking her, I said, why do you think the authorities allow Muslims to wear this garment when it, during, whilst driving when it clearly represents a danger to all road users. And she looked me in the eye with a, a pair of very intelligent eyes and said, 
Our leaders are a bunch of corrupt degenerates and they haven't got the backbone to stand up to a stiff wind, never mind stand up to the Muslim invader. Now, you might think that's a bit of an oversimplification, but I'm sure that we can all identify from where, from where that lady is coming from. Thank you very much for watching.